Last month, Jacksonville's oldest former mayor, Jake Godbold, passed away. He served as mayor for the River City from 1978 to 1987. He was 86 years old when he died. And on Thursday, the public is invited to attend a celebration of life in memorial service. Joining us now with more on his legacy is his lifelong friend and time press secretary and friend, of course, Martha Barrett. Martha, thank you so much for coming Pleasure in. Pleasure to morning. be here. Thank you for inviting me. No, we're so excited to speak with you about his legacy. We also want to know how the two of you met. Take us through the history of your friendship. Well, I was in Washington, D.C., working for the Carter administration back in 1978. And I, heard, I had read that uh, Jake Gobble was going to become mayor because Man's, Mayor Tanzler had, was resigning to run for governor. So Jake automatically became mayor. Anyway, a great friend of mine, Ed Holt, from the east side, I called him and I said, can I have lunch with you? So mm -hmm. the three of us plus Mike Tolbert had lunch. And he, went, he said to me after lunch, I, I, I like you. I'd like to hire you. I don't know what you're going to do, but <laughs> you're hired. That's so awesome. That's true. You've got the job. I yes, got the job. There you go. And for those of us who don't know him, what was he like? He was wonderful. He's lots of fun, very hard, tough, tough. Don't think that he was easy to work with. I mean, it was wonderful, but you, you knew you had to work and work hard. And when you did, he really appreciated it. He was lots of fun, though. He had a great sense of humor, but he really loved the city. And he, all he wanted was the best quality of life for all of our citizens. And it was really very obvious the way he loved Jacksonville. I never had the opportunity or the pleasure of meeting uh, the mayor, but I will tell you this, I've met several people throughout this community who have. Yes. Of all walks of life. Mm -hmm. And it was, not, it was so surprising to me to meet these individuals and say, oh yeah, I have Mayor, mayor Jake's number right here. Mm -hmm. We do lunch every Wednesday of every month. I will tell you that he had an, a, a, an unlisted phone number his entire eight and a half years, and we knew on Monday mornings to be, to be ready because he would say, call Martha Barrett, or call so-and-so and so-and-so. Oh, I'd love to do that, you know. He was very good about always uh, listening to the public, and he loved the telephone. So if people had a problem, they'd call him, and then he would have them call us. And that's not something you hear within no. politics no. or leaders today, no. for no. sure. Well, and he was so, we've heard all of these stories over the past few weeks, he was so involved in this community and making changes that really matter to people in the community. Yeah. What were some of the most notable ones that you can recall? Well, I think one of the most interesting one was a, a partnership with the Chamber of Commerce. They walked in, in right after his election in 79 and they said, you know, Mr. Mayor, we, none of us were for you. So you could really just, all you could do is kiss babies and and really kick us the, the whole next four years. He said, oh no, I don't hold grudges. You're gonna be my partners. And because my, my part in life is to have quality, a better quality of life for all of our citizens, jobs, 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 you have that situation. I wanna be your partner and you'll be my partner. Now that was the kind of person, he never held a grudge. And that was a huge, huge uh, reason that he was so, so successful. And he loved the city. Being a confidant and a friend of his, did he ever chime in or guide you on his opinions or thoughts of this oh, current yes. climate? Oh, yes. Uh, well, uh, one of the funniest things, he also, uh, uh, you don't remember this, but back in the 80s, it was uh, <laughs> white stockings were popular for women, and I wore them one day, and he literally stopped in the hall and said, Marty, are you a nurse? You know, he said, they look terrible on you. I mean, it was very, very, you know, he would let you know exactly what he thought, not only how you dress, but uh, it was just that way. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Had a good sense of humor. He did, like. he did. Yeah. What will you miss the most? Oh, his phone calls. You know, he was always calling people, and, and all of his friends know that. I mean, he would call um, about if, so, if someone's son was hurt or if you weren't feeling well, and... And when he was mayor, he'd call me at two or three in the morning if he had an idea. And I got to a point where I could write it down and go back to bed. <laughs> that wow. was, he just always was thinking. But I'll really, I'll miss the phone calls and that great laughter, that great sense of humor that he had. But his love of the city will remain forever. Absolutely. It certainly will. Well, Martha, we thank you so much for coming in on oh, a Sunday a morning and speaking with and you. an honor. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Again, the memorial service will be this Thursday, February 20th at the Prime Osborne Convention Center. The service will begin at 10 o'clock and everyone is invited to attend.